Imagine a world in disarray, not from natural disasters but man-made ones. Can you fathom the impact of nuclear war on international politics? Picture this, a world forever scarred by the use of nuclear weapons. This is no fiction. The atomic bombings of Hiroshima and Nagasaki during World War II stand as stark reminders of the destructive potential of nuclear warfare. Over 120,000 lives were lost in an instant, with thousands more suffering in the aftermath. The development of even more potent nuclear arsenals by countries like the United States and the Soviet Union gave birth to a chilling concept, mutually assured destruction. This deterrent strategy, based on the premise that a full-scale use of nuclear weapons by two opposing sides would effectively result in the annihilation of both, has, till now, prevented direct conflict between nuclear-armed superpowers. Yet, the threat of nuclear war remains, casting a long shadow over international politics. It shapes the way nations interact, negotiate and posture on the global stage. The devastation of nuclear war is not just physical, it has profound geopolitical implications, shaping the way nations interact and negotiate on the global stage. The shadow of nuclear war didn't emerge overnight, it's a product of decades of scientific progress and political maneuvering. Our journey begins in the throes of the Second World War, when the first nuclear weapons, known as atomic bombs, were conceived. The Manhattan Project, a top-secret initiative led by the United States, successfully developed these bombs, the likes of which the world had never seen before. In August 1945 the cities of Hiroshima and Nagasaki in Japan experienced firsthand the devastating might of these weapons. Approximately 120,000 lives were lost in an instant, marking the only instances of nuclear weapons being used in warfare. The end of the war however did not signify the end of nuclear development. The ensuing Cold War between the United States and the Soviet Union saw both superpowers amassing more potent nuclear arsenals. This arms race led to the terrifying concept of mutually assured destruction. A grim deterrent where any nuclear attack by one would result in the annihilation of both. As the decades rolled on, more nations entered the nuclear arena. Britain, France, China, Israel, India, Pakistan and more recently North Korea, all developed their own nuclear capabilities. Each addition to this list added another layer of complexity to international politics and increased the potential for global destruction. Today the world stands at a precarious juncture. While the overt tensions of the Cold War have eased, the threat of nuclear proliferation persists. Every advancement in nuclear technology, every shift in political power, stokes the embers of a potential nuclear conflict. From the ashes of World War II to the tense standoffs of the Cold War and beyond, the specter of nuclear weapons has morphed but never disappeared. Nuclear war is a grim reality we've been living with for decades, but what does it all mean for us today? The atomic bombings of Hiroshima and Nagasaki during World War II were the only instances of nuclear weapons being used in warfare, causing an estimated 120,000 deaths. This marked the birth of a new era in international politics, where the potential for global devastation looms large. The subsequent development of more powerful nuclear arsenals by countries like the United States and the Soviet Union introduced the concept of mutually assured destruction. This doctrine prevented direct conflict between these superpowers, highlighting the catastrophic consequences of nuclear warfare. However, concerns over nuclear proliferation persist. Several countries have developed nuclear capabilities, increasing the number of players on the nuclear stage and complicating the geopolitical landscape. Recent events such as the Russian invasion of Ukraine have only heightened these nuclear tensions. The threat of nuclear war, while not as prominent as it once was, remains a significant factor shaping international politics. It is a sobering reminder of the potential cost of conflict and the importance of diplomatic solutions.